It won't be long before we see the peak of Atlantic hurricane season, believe it or not. And it was an August storm 51 years ago this week that nearly wiped out the popular Gulf Coast beach destination of Port Aransas. In tonight's backstory, when Texas faced a direct hit from Hurricane Celia. One thing about the ocean waters of the tropics, a calm sea can turn stormy this time of year. And that's what happened the first week of August in 1970, when a small weather disturbance gained strength near Cuba. Hurricane Celia marched across the Gulf of Mexico, making a beeline for Corpus Christi. Even the weather service used unusually colorful language to describe Celia's destructive rendezvous with the coastal bend. They said Celia aimed at the Corpus area like a wild beast stalking its prey. And what a beast Celia was. When it slammed into the Texas coast, it had sustained winds of 130 miles an hour. Because of its high winds, 85% of the property damage caused by the storm occurred in Corpus Christi, with 90% of the buildings in downtown either damaged or destroyed. The eye of the storm passed over Port Aransas, where the Weather Service estimated that three-fourths of the homes and businesses there suffered damage or were completely blown away when wind gusts reached 180 miles an hour. Celia was one for the record books. $500 million in property damage. That's equivalent to about $3 billion today. At the time, the costliest hurricane in Texas history. But in the 51 years since, records would be broken by storms like Hurricane Harvey that went ashore in the same general area four years ago this month. Hurricane Celia, an unwanted Texas visitor, this week in 1970.